what is in here will probably blow your mind. Hey YouTuber, Ivy Fix here. It's been a little while since we've done a video over here, but what I have to show you guys today inside this package is I have been so excited for this. I'll start opening it up. Um, I got this through a deal on the Wrestling Collectibles New Zealand Facebook page. It's the first, I, I believe the first deal I, I've gotten through there. Um, I could be wrong, but what is in here will probably blow your mind. And once I've got it out, there's, there is a pretty cool story behind this. Oh my god. This is a WWE ring used turnbuckle pad. Holy crap. Not not in a million years would I have guessed that I would ever have one of these in my possession. I cannot believe it. So, just a bit of backstory. Um, the, the guy that I made the deal with, he's really cool to deal with, by the way. Um, he went to the Road to WrestleMania 2006 show in Wellington, New Zealand. Um, he was actually a part of the crew for setting up the ring. Um, and he was one of three people, a part of the ring crew, that got to take one of these home. And now, it is in my possession. Um, and... There is a rip on the back, and the story behind that is Randy Orton was undoing the turnbuckle in the middle of the match, um, and it wouldn't come off, so he literally ripped it off. So this means this is a top turnbuckle. So the amount of superstars who have probably touched this is insane. Undertaker was wrestling Kurt Angle and Mark Henry on that show, so wow, he probably touched this at one point. So just a really quick close-up at the turnbuckle pad. The guy that I bought this from took really good care of it, as you can see. Uh, so obviously it has the holes at the top and the bottom, which get tied together on the corner. Um, obviously the older style WWE logo um, stitched on there. Uh, it's not an iron-on or anything, so this is made to last. And of course the back, the infamous rip, which certifies this is a top turnbuckle pad. There's no way that I wasn't going to find some way to display this awesome piece somewhere in my room. I'm not sure if this is going to be the permanent spot, but I had a spare little spot in my architrave there, so I put some pins there so this can hang here, at least for now. I'm not sure if this will be the permanent spot, but I absolutely love it. Thank you so much to Dan from Wrestling Collectibles New Zealand. I absolutely love it. So that'll be it for today's unboxing. I hope you all enjoyed. Please hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't already. We're on the road to 1,000 subscribers so we can get back to having all the freedom we used to have before and we could do live streams and all that other crazy stuff. So thank you for watching. Please leave a like if you did enjoy this video and we'll see you all next time.